Sports. Teddy Atlas, what do you make of this fighter? When you talk about pure talent, I think about two guys, Roy Jones Jr. and Zab Judah. You better step up, you're looking kind of lost. Claiming two ghetto streets that don't even cross. If only thing worse than lose your title, have it stolen. I treat beef like video games that I'm controlling. Teddy Atlas, what do you make of this fighter? You'd have to put Pernell Whitaker on your list of greatest lightweights of all time. He's fought everybody. Let's now... Introducing first, hiding out of the blue corner... Zab Super Judah. His opponent out of the red corner. For now, Sweet P. Whitaker. It's round one. This one is scheduled for 12. Teddy, this looks like it could be a great matchup. Any thoughts? Looks like we're going to be in for a great beat tonight, folks. This one could go either way. Whitaker in dire trouble. Whitaker is in trouble right here. Yeah, he's in big trouble. There's way too much time left in this round. Good hook by Judah. Firing back with the left hand. That was a great counter with the straight punch there. Tremendous cross. Look at this two way traffic. That right shouldn't have missed. Ooh, not exactly sure how that missed. Good mean punch there. That cross landed. Oh, nice cross there, Al. Now that's how you count. Judah with an excellent cross to the line. What's he trying to do? Spin himself around? I think he's just keeping his arms moving, throwing rights like that. as we head into the second round of the scheduled 12 rounder. That right hand counter muscle. How many times did these two fighters do this? This is just almost painful to watch. Good right hand. Whitaker lands a hard left to the head. Good punch selection. Good, good run. Two, Time that three, three, perfect. Four, five, six, seven. And he's still looking a little groggy there, Al. Wicked combination up top. Toe to toe action right here. Judah looks like he's ready to go down again. If he doesn't defend himself better, he's in real trouble. Now, this is a critical point in the fight here, Al. The question is, can he survive? That was must hurt. Circumventing that right. The slugfest is on. That right opened up the cut. loses a whole new meaning. Judah moving away from that right. He's got to defend against that left. Good mean punch to the head. Now that hook can hurt you. Judah moving away from that right. Look at these two go at it. It hurts to watch these two guys go at it. Good right. By Whitaker. Nice right hand throw. That was a nice pair of punches. Powerful combination up top. What are you trying to do? Spin itself around. Protecting against that powerful jam. That puts a close to round two. Max, it's time for the EA Sports Fight Trivia question. What bit of arcane knowledge can you share with us tonight? Well, now, here's an interesting one. Only Evander Holyfield, Muhammad Ali, Floyd Patterson have regained the heavyweight title in new matches with the champions who they had previously lost it to. Very interesting, Max. Perfect fundamentals there. Mm -hmm. 
thundering flurry of punches to the head and body by Whitaker. Man, that was a bobby right. to the head there. Textbook shot up top that time now. Trading shots in the middle of the ring. Oh, look at this action. Dodging his short jab. I really thought that was going to be to the head by Whitaker. Wow, that combination upstairs had to... Well, that left eye has taken a turn for the better. His cut man really worked some magic there. So let's head into the fourth round. Judah eludes the jam. Good job avoiding that right hand. Defending the head. That hook's not going to be very effective. Ow. I mean, you've got to have something in mind with that hook, right? I mean, I just don't know what it is. <laughs> Blocking the cross. Blocking upstairs. with that left. That left is a little hopeful. Less than a minute to go in round four. Locking upstairs. Upstairs. Good punch selection with good results. Disappointing round there by Judah. So now let's view that vicious flurry of punches from the last round. Teddy, how did you score it for the first four rounds? Okay, Al. I have it scored 39-36. Three rounds to one. Whitaker. Fending off the counter. Good job of eluding the jab. I don't know where to put that one. Unable to dodge the cross. Now we really had him in a fight for that left. Whitaker seems to have some light swelling around the left eye. That's what defense there. It's a blistering combination upstairs by Whitaker. Textbook's got there. This fight has not been for the faint-hearted. He's in trouble. There's the bell. I can't believe he survived. That's the bell. Back to your corner. Here we go. Round number six. Mm -hmm. So 
thundering flurry of punches to the head and body by Whitaker, focusing on the head with the combination punches. A thundering right. Trying to work in combination upstairs. Good left hand. Sets up the hook with the jab. Just unable to push away from that hook. So we head into the closing 10 seconds of round number six. What an astounding round. Let's head into round seven. What does your scorecard look like? Okay, Al. I haven't scored 67, 65. Four mm. rounds for three. What is it? Nice left by Whitaker. Good patience to step in with the left at just the right time. Punishing combinations to the head and body by Whitaker. That was a nice right hand from me. There are no light punches in this fight. They are going at it. Good solid jab upstairs. Two uppercuts in quick succession there. Telegraph that punch a little too much. shot to the head there. So now let's do that vicious flurry of punches from the last round. Here we go. Round number nine. I'm 
combination from the head. Excellent timing with that combination. Push away from that jab. Not gonna get any distance with a weak little shove like that. Responding with the cross. Whitaker starting to swell a little bit around that right eye. That hook's not going anywhere. Whitaker. He's in a lot of trouble. Now he's got under a minute to survive. It's going to be close. That was a huge left hand. We head into the 10th round. This one is scheduled for 12. Whitaker with a good mean shot upstairs. That right just missed. That right was about as close as you can get and still miss. Pretty good combination to the head and body by Whitaker. Reaching a bit too much with the hook. Blocking up top. Blocking up top. Saw that one coming. Not much damage done there by Judah. Wow. That combination up there had to hurt. Whoa, that hook really looked like it should have landed. Solid flurry up top. Wow, that combination up there had to hurt. The card girl, hearing it from the crowd. Teddy, what does your scorecard look like through the tent? Uh, this isn't really a contest at the moment. I haven't scored 97, 95. Seven rounds to six, Whitaker. Right for the camera. I don't know what's going on. What's he hoping to do throwing a jab over there? Uh, Judah appears to have some swelling around that right eye. Look at this back and forth action. Just powerless to elude the left. Judah just unable to dodge the uppercut. <laughs> the idea is to move away from the right hand, not into it. Focusing on the head with accommodation punches. Oh, there aren't even hands up to try and block them. That was wide open. Off the mark with the right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Brutal story of punches from body and head. Two uppercuts in quick succession there. Bang! One, two. Judah. Off the mark. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the bell. Back to your corner. Here we go, it's the final round. Judah, powerless to lose the left. He couldn't have bought his way away from that left.
ferocious cross by Judah. Now, Al, there's a lot of power behind that shot. Judah lands an excellent left hand upstairs. Solid right by Judah. Whitaker blocking upstairs. It's like Ali, the master of the two-inch miss. Hard left-hand shot there by Whitaker. That hook shouldn't have missed. Defending against the overhand. Doubles up on the jab. That's a dangerous thing to leave yourself open for. Tremendous left-hand upstairs. <laughs> that a mean left-hand. Judah with a wild swing. So we reach the end of the 12th round. Now, let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the announcement of tonight's decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by split decision, Zab Super 